A few months ago, I was up on the roof doing our every six month inspection, making sure that the sealant hadn't cracked around any of the seams. And I noticed that our skylights were looking pretty bad, not just yellow, but they started to feel like they might be getting a bit brittle. So I decided to do a little bit of proactive maintenance and replace the skylights. Let's see how that goes. I'm Jeff, and this is Miles and Smiles. Today I'm going to be installing an Icon brand skylight on our 2004 Fleetwood Southwind. I've actually got two skylights that I need to install, but I think for today one's going to be enough. For the tools, I'm going to need a putty knife, a Phillips screwdriver, in this case it is a uh, power driver. I'm going to need a caulking gun and a tube of butyl rubber skylight sealant. This is the brand particularly recommended by the skylights manufacturer. I know people use different things, but Icon, the manufacturer of the skylight, says this is the thing to use, so this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to need some denatured alcohol for cleaning. I'm going to need a broom, because there's lots and lots of pine needles up there. And I'm going to need a heat gun. This is one of those tools that I never thought I was going to need. But when I bought this a few months ago, since then, I have used it probably half a dozen times. It's a, it's a wonderful tool for softening up gooey stuff. But you do have to be careful because you could also uh, use it a little too hot or keep it in place too long and you could melt your roof, you could melt the paint on your RV. These are great things, but be really careful with them. So the process is going to be pretty simple. I'm going to strip off the old sealant, take out the screws, and then pry the old skylight off of the roof. Clean it up as well as I possibly can. Lay down a bead of sealant, put the skylight in place, screw it down, and then put another bead of sealant around the skylight and over all of the screws. It sounds simple. and. Uh, I think it's not going to be that hard. So let's see how it goes. One of the first requirements is going to be a clean roof. So first we sweep. As you can see, there's quite a lot of buildup, layers and layers of sealant that have been put over this old skylight. Probably because it's original to the coach. This is a 2004 Fleetwood Southwind, and the, the, this is being recorded in 2020. So this has been up here a while, and it's been sealed and sealed and sealed. So I'm going to use a heat gun to uh, kind of soften that sealant up a little bit so that I can get the old skylight off of the roof. You want to be very careful when doing this that in the process you don't damage or melt the rubber roof underneath. Don't ask me how I know that. Even as I take the old sealant off, I'm trying to be very careful not to damage the rubber roof underneath. What I'm trying to do is find the screws that are in the old skylight so that I can unscrew this and just lift it off. And as you can see, there's a lot of gunk on here. And it's not too hard to get off. But it's not too easy either. As you can see, uh, there has been some water incursion under here. You can tell by this dirt here over the years. It has not been perfectly sealed. And in fact, we did find a little bit of a water leak in our bedroom which was what drew our attention to this skylight in the first place. I was up here resealing it when I decided that it really needed to be replaced. I wanted to take a look at what I just found here. Right in here, the 
when they installed this skylight, they screwed down the screws too deep hard, and they cracked it. At least in part, why there was a little bit of water incursion uh, into the bathroom ceiling. We're actually in the bedroom ceiling. That is unfortunately not unusual kinds of mistakes that are left by uh, RV manufacturers uh, when they are making their products. They should have thrown this skylight out and put on a new one. The other thing I'm concerned about is that I've been planning to reuse these screws, but they look like they are pretty badly rusted. They shouldn't be rusted because there should be no water getting underneath here, but it surely is. So I'm going to have to make a run to the hardware store. Let's see how it goes trying to get the old screws out. I got the uh, the old skylight pried up. Still have to clean off all of the rest of the sealant still here on the roof. I found starting at this corner one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 places where the installers cracked the skylight while they were putting it on. Despite that, it actually looks pretty good under here. This is an inner skylight. We're going to leave that in place. There's nothing wrong with it. it looks fine. So let's get this all cleaned off and uh, move on to the next stage. And let's see, I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I actually ought to have enough screws without going to the hardware store. <laughs> Amazing. That never happens. The next step is to lay down a line of skylight sealant, butyl rubber skylight sealant, all the way around, specifically make sure that I, making sure that I cover all of the old screw holes. And now, very carefully, screw the new skylight in place. Each screw goes in just far enough to dimple the plastic, not to break it. Right, it is all screwed in, and as you can see, the old screws went in just fine. There's a little bit of caulking that's squeezed out from underneath from that bead that we put there. Now I'm going to put another bead of caulking all the way around the outside and cover all the screw heads. And we're done. Well, that's it. The whole job took me about an hour or so, maybe an hour and a half. And I was fortunate because I really didn't have to make any special trips to the hardware store for extra screws or missing pieces or other tools that I needed or things like that. This is definitely the kind of job that if you're just a little bit handy, 
you can do. And so if you've got an older RV and you want to replace a leaking or a cracked or an soon going to be cracked skylight, I suggest you give it a try. I really liked the Icon brand skylight. It's nice and sturdy and looks beautiful up there and it looks like it's going to uh, serve us for many, many years to come. Remember, life's a journey. Make every mile count.